welcome back to the channel, Tintin57 here, and you know what, we're going flying today. We haven't done much flying, have we? There's very, very limited options for the PlayStation, and um, I found this one. Um, it's made by Caparina Games, so they're the developer that also make Road Maintenance Simulator, which we've been playing recently on the channel. And this one actually came out at the end of November last year. But it's only just really come to my attention from speaking to the devs over there. Um, very nice people. They've sent me a copy of this. So thank you to them. Um, this will allow me to show it to you. So we need to get one thing off the bat straight away. This is not meant to be compared to Microsoft Flight Simulator at all. That's a different beast, as we know. And that's never going to come to PlayStation. So it's like trucking. We're very limited. Let's just play this for what it is. Um, what I've done so far, I've just done the tutorials. I've set up my profile, um, but I haven't done any missions yet. So let's, let's just jump in um, and let's see how it plays. That is my save file up there. Several, there's several planes available in this game. You start off with a basic one, as I understand. Uh, you can upgrade those. And um, you can see the hangar in front of us with the available planes. Let's just do that. It says, buy an airplane at Marcos's Airplanes. Before I do that, though, let me show you the controls. So these are the on-foot controls. Pretty straightforward. You can bring up the map with circle. Once we're on the ground, if I go, oops, if I change that to the aeroplane controls, these are a little bit strange. You speed up and slow down with right one and right two, which is a bit odd. Because, uh, sorry, right one and left one. Because right two and left two, which in most other games we use for accelerate and, and decelerate, are actually used for yawing right and left, so the rudder controls. Um, so during the tutorials that was catching me out a little bit because I kept uh, trying to speed up and slow down with the rudder controls but you know we'll get to that that's fine let's just pop back back to the game right so let's go and play it by a plane so again I just did it then I tried to run with uh, with R2 this is my uh, character there's two characters in the plane let's just do a bit of the old Michael Jackson. Uh, right, let's go. Let's go and see what this guy wants. So it looks like, before we go and see him, looks like a Cessna 150, 152 over there. Something based on a Cherokee. And then another one there based on a Cessna, I would say. Hey, a warm welcome to Marcos Airplanes. It's me, in person, Marcos. Owner, CEO, customer service rep, and your best friend. Okay, so this guy's our best friend. There's really absolutely no point in looking or even buying elsewhere. Oh, he's a salesman. You won't there you find go. find this kind of incredible quality anywhere else. And what's more, at such an incredibly unbeatable price. Yeah, he's going to be our best friend, isn't he? If he wants us to spend money, what have we got? We got a hundred thousand dollars up there in the top left. The brand new airplanes Marcos has to offer you. Sensational. Falcon stands for capability in every respect and is absolutely unparalleled when it comes to speed, cargo capacity, and handling. With this plane, you're the star on any airfield. I mean, that one's pretty nice. Don't get me wrong, uh, it's got decent horsepower, look, 300 horsepower, 200 speed. Uh, I don't know if that 200 is miles per hour or knots, because we usually measure it in knots, don't we, when we're flying? Based on my real world flying experience from some years ago. Um, but look at the price, 200,000. So, you know, he's showing us that, but I'm assuming completing missions would build up our money to buy that one. Can't get that one yet. So it says buy. We can't buy. Let's leave. What happens if I go back to this guy again? Nothing. What 
let's have a look over here. Can't buy this one either. Let's just have a look. Okay, can't get in that one. I think we're going to end up with this one. This must be the starter aircraft. But we still need to buy it from him, so let's just go back and get the get the prompt hey, again. Oh, here he is. Welcome to Marcos Airplanes. Yeah, okay. Really absolutely no yep, point yep, in yep, Marvel yep, we know this. Sensational Falcon Continue, that's maybe what I meant to do. Every respect. So he's right, okay. If I uh, uh, let's go back. Okay, he's going to do it again now. How do I just tab to the next? Oh, there's the map, by the way. Let's just look at the map while we're on here, anyway. So we're down there in Capira. It's meant to be eighty kilometers by eighty kilometers. So it's a decent size for a small plane. But we'll get to that once we start doing some missions. Seems to be a mix of coastline. Mountains, quite high mountains if that's snow, um, and then we've got a sort of desert beach. I presume it's a desert. This bottom section's a desert, but we'll find out. Uh, let's just play, buy a plane. That's what we want to do. Come on. So we need to do something hey, to. Oh, here he is again. Welcome. Right. Okay. Absolutely marvel at the brand new airplane. Sensational Falcon stands for capability and oh, I see. respect. And is there is a unparalleled when it comes to speed, cargo capacity. Yep, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, there's a tab button there that I didn't see. I didn't see those large arrows. Yeah, the wonderful sparrow. It might seem small, but it's just plain awesome. Absolutely perfect for setting up your business here as a cargo pilot. And as low as its price is, well, its fuel consumption is just as low, too. Fantastic, fantastic, I'm telling you. Yeah, I think it's going to give us this one, isn't it? This is 100,000 credits, which we can afford. 90 horsepower, speed 120. But let's just, while we're here, just check out the other one. Incredible. You simply can't do anything wrong. 150,000. It combines affordable maintenance expenses with a large cargo hold. And its sensational reliability scores sky high. It's got a decent horsepower, that. 240. Anyway, so what we need to do, we need to go back to the Sparrow and we'll buy that. For a hundred thousand, do you really want to make this purchase? Yes. On the ball decision to buy. My sincerest congratulations. With the sparrow, you'll never ever regret it from now on. I'll even deliver it to you with a full tank. Should do think the so. Honor again soon. So I just got a trophy then for buying the sparrow. Um, there, there are fifty trophies within this. Some of them I had a look. Some of them are a bit grindy. You do have to end up buying each of these aircraft and upgrading it i will say that so you're gonna to have to spend quite a bit of time in the game you're gonna to have to do a lot of missions to build your money up to be able to do that um but there are 50 trophies but there isn't a platinum trophy but you know we can live with that congratulations on the purchase now we have to visit Frances francisco the merchant in capira okay let's do that He's the merchant. I'm assuming he's going to give us some jobs to do. Right, where am I looking? Right, we're going through the gate. The sound might be quiet. I have turned it down a little bit. Hello. Welcome to Francisco's, the merchant in Kaipira. I have missions for you. Take a look. Okay, so this is where we get our jobs from. So our first one is to transport vaccine. That's quite apt, isn't it, with COVID? 225 credits we will get for that. So we don't get a lot of money to be able to, you know, for these for these jobs. It's going to take us a while to save up, but let's have a look what the other job is. We can take visitors to Talamar 
or we can also take vaccine to Maripur. So they are worth, the visitors are worth a lot less. That's a longer run. So I think for this first look, we'll do we'll do a short one. Why don't we do this one to take vaccine to Maripur? So let's accept that I'll one. Have your airplane loaded. Payment will be credited to you afterwards at the destination. Have a good flight until next time. Right, so what we need to do now is we need to head back to where the aircraft is and we should be able to do the mission then. There is background music, by the way. I've turned it off just for YouTube purposes. So we can... Oh, that takes me out. Yeah, I don't want to do that. The engine is started. It is a bit low, that, isn't it? Let's, let's go to the sound. Uh, let's put that to 100. Music's off. Turn that up a little bit. If that's too loud, I'll adjust it. Uh, press use. Back to the game. Okay. So this is the cockpit view. There's not a lot to go on in here. It's, again, your artificial horizon is, is the little aircraft at the top. Don't think we've got I don't think we haven't got an artificial horizon. Looks as if we've got um, at the top from left to right, you've got airspeed indicator. Then it looks as if you've got the altimeter. Then the one in the middle, the dial in the middle, looks to be the uh, climb indicator. And then at the bottom, I think we've got fuel and we've got amps. And of course, we've got the uh what well, looks like radar it looks like a like a radar screen then we've got the map that we've already seen the top right hand corner uh we've got the compass it will also tell us what speed we're doing it looks as if we've also got the fuel gauge at the bottom so he said he's given us a full tank of fuel for this job uh unless i'm reading that wrong it is that is that showing a full tank and is the dark red bit showing us when we get into the reserve not sure but anyway we have no money so we can't you know we can't get any fuel but you can refuel over this side you can just see the the icon for refueling there's a paint shop over there you can you can customize your aircraft again if you've got money so let's take off the parking brake d-pad down and this is where i need to remember how we accelerate so here we go Whoa, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh dear. <gasps> okay, so there you go. <laughs> that, was, that was not a good start. These things are tricky, right? Let's try this again. Come on. <laughs> oh, do you know what? This is going to be easier outside of the cab. I just know it. Outside the cockpit. I should call it a cockpit. So you only need a little bit of acceleration. Just like that, I just tapped R1 there. I think X is brake. Yeah, X is brake, so we know how to brake. So we need to taxi. The runway's on the right. So there's different views there. We can, of course, move up and down and look around. So let's, let's put a bit more speed in. Navigation lights, etc. are already on. So we're all right with that. It is fairly quiet. So let's just put a bit more speed in. Take the speed off, then we need to line up. Well, you would normally line up and wait, wouldn't you? Unless you get a clearance to roll straight off. So let's just take it easy. This time, I could have a little bit more speed than that. Let's 
So let me line this up. There we go. Get the brakes on. Make sure everything's set ready. And then let's give it the full throttle. So there is a throttle indicator there as well in the top right hand corner. So we don't want to hit the fence at the end of here. So let us use the left stick and we're up in the air. So, we need to have a look where... It's not tracking the mission for some reason. Why is it not tracking the mission? He told us that... Uh, he would put the fuel in for us. Is there something else we needed to do? There's our base down there. That's where we just came from. It's a bit odd how uh, there's no there's no tracking information. So we can change angles using the uh, the pad on the controller. Just by tapping it, it gives us different views, which is quite nice. If you're in the cruise and you just want to move around and have a look. Now, is there something in the options where I have turned off the tracking, perhaps? Let's have a quick look. I see controls. Uh, let's have a look. Uh hood on and off is d-pad d-pad right let's just see what that does no that just turns it on and off doesn't give us any indication where we're going anyway i don't know what's going on there but let's um let's carry on So Maripol is just on our left side. When the mission is showing there in the top left hand corner, which is a bit strange. But nothing tracking. That is very odd. Climb indicator is working. The climb indicator is showing that we are uh, gaining height. This is just slightly go left. I can just see on the mini map there where Maripo is going to be on the right. So we did fill the tank. It looks like he's filled the tank because it looks as if uh, the little indicator on the top right is actually going down. Uh, the other thing, of course, we've got to land the thing yet, which is going to be interesting. I don't think it's a very long flight. Let's check the big map again. So we're kind of on track now. I wonder if it's this beach down here. We may have to take a quick look at it before we come in. We'll know if the jobs work because we'll get the two hundred and twenty-five dollars for uh, completing it. Let's just turn slightly. I should be using those rudder controls, of course, when I'm turning. Just using them now. Let's check the big map. 
so it's we fly over the sand uh, it's across the water on the other side of this it's on the other side of here looks like just changing the camera angles again there is a little town there that you can see to the right of the compass on the dashboard there so that must be where we're going to in fact I can see the runway I think I can see the runway just above the town so we'll follow this coastline along and then we'll turn in right so like I said at the beginning um, it, it isn't anything you're meant to compare with Microsoft Flight Simulator we know what kind of beast that is that's the place to go if you want to do real world flying but you know if you want a bit of fun a bit like the road maintenance simulator you know this could be ideal especially if you're collecting trophies 50 trophies it's probably worth playing it you know just for that it's probably going to be plenty to do and it's another real one of those relaxing games isn't it i'm going to take some power out you can see the runway down there lose some height I think there's no flaps or anything like that so we can't slow ourselves down with that we've purely got power and we'll have to lift the nose to be able to land so let's just turn in looks like we are at I can't see on that needle, 3,000 feet. Oh, actually no, look at the top right hand corner, 600 feet, 77 knots, that's quite, it's quite fast, isn't it? So there is a fence here as well. So I'm gonna try and line up and take the power off. Here we go, first landing. Okay, we're a bit to the left there. There we go. After landing, move the aircraft to the park position to unload. Oh, so it did. It has tracked. It has tracked that um, we've done the mission. So where is the unloading? Is it down that end? Let's just go and see. Put a bit of power in now. Just so we can taxi back down the room. Uh, hopefully there's nothing behind us. So gotta to remember to steer with right to left to. There's the parking area. The big P gives it away. Let me just try and line it right up. So we park on this line. Our centre wheel's meant to be between those two yellow lines, so let's see if we can get that right. I It might be that we don't get a tracking line in that compass up in the top right-hand corner. I fully expected to have a... a some kind of tracking line, some kind of navigation line that we uh, that we follow. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's working as it's designed. We'll soon find out. Let's go forward slightly. Don't know how far forward I need to go. but So that's the engine off. Mission successfully accomplished, and we got the two hundred and twenty-five dollars, which turned our aircraft round ready to go as well. So that wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. It was good fun. I did wonder whether the mission was actually working for a time, uh, but 
it's very simple, very simplistic, but actually it was good fun. So I'm quite looking forward to doing a few more missions of this. So I think we'll end it there as a first look. Hope you've enjoyed that. That's something a bit different. We've done cars, we've done buses, we've done trucks, we've definitely done trains, we've done a lot of trains. Now we've done aircraft. So uh, I'm pleased to be able to uh, bring this to you. So this is out on the PS5. I don't know if it's out on... Um, it, on any other consoles, actually, I've seen it for the PS5 only. Um, just, uh, just look it up on your respective platform and see see if it's available. It's in the it's in the sort of twenty to twenty five pound range. So again, it's uh, it's not a full game as you as you would expect, but it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of trophies if that's your thing. So, hope you've enjoyed this first look. Leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.